You might think the millionaire next door has it made, but here's the truth most people won't tell you. Most millionaires? They aren't really millionaires. At least, not in the way that actually matters. On paper, they look rich. They've got a nice house, maybe even a fancy car, and a spreadsheet that says $1 million net worth. But take out their home equity, and suddenly, the picture changes fast. So today, we're diving deep into the uncomfortable truth about wealth, why net worth is wildly overrated, and what you should be focusing on instead if you want true financial freedom. Not the kind that looks good, but the kind that feels good. The problem with the millionaire. Let's define a millionaire the way most people do. Someone with a net worth of $1 million or more. Sounds simple, right? Net worth is everything you own, your home, car, savings, investments, even your stamp collection, minus everything you owe. But here's the kicker. When most people claim millionaire status, they're counting their home. And that's the trap. Because while your house might be your biggest asset, it's not cash. It doesn't generate passive income. You can't swipe your mortgage-free living room to pay for groceries or emergency surgery. It's locked up wealth. That's why we need to shift our focus from net worth to liquid net worth. That's the number that actually matters. Why liquid assets are the real wealth. A true millionaire, what some call an investable asset millionaire, is someone with $1 million in liquid or near-liquid assets, cash, stocks, index funds, mutual funds, retirement accounts. Something you can use. Something you can sell today. According to UBS Global, while 24 million Americans have a net worth over $1 million, only about 6 million of them have $1 million in liquid, investable assets. That's just 2.3% of American adults. So when you pass someone on the street who might be worth a million, odds are that wealth is tied up in a home they can't easily convert to cash. The Quiet Millionaire. Here's where the real wealth lies, in the quiet portfolios of people you'd never suspect. The couple renting a modest apartment, driving a paid off car, but quietly investing $2,000 every month into index funds. No flashy lifestyle, just steady, disciplined wealth building. They're not relying on a booming real estate market or Zillow estimates. They're building financial independence, true freedom. Because here's what most people don't realize. Owning a $1 million home doesn't mean you're rich. It just means you have a $1 million home. That's wealth on paper, not money you can use. Millionaire math that misleads. Let's do some real math. A couple in their 60s owns their $750,000 home outright and has $250,000 in savings. Boom, net worth of $1 million. But they're not financially free. They still depend on social security, part-time work, or careful budgeting just to make ends meet. Now compare that to someone who has no house, no mortgage, but $1 million in investments, generating $40,000 a year in passive income. That person can retire today if they want to. Both have the same net worth, but only one of them is actually wealthy. Liquid assets equals freedom. That's the power of liquid wealth. It gives you options. You can downsize, pivot careers, take a sabbatical, or handle a $10,000 emergency without panicking. That's not just financial security, that's peace of mind. Meanwhile, relying solely on home equity leaves you boxed in. You can't cash in your drywall, and you definitely can't withdraw $1,000 from your backyard. The FIRE Mindset This is exactly why the FIRE, Financial Independence Retire Early Community, puts so much emphasis on liquid net worth. 
They're not obsessed with fancy homes or six-figure cars. They're obsessed with freedom. They ask, how long can I live without a paycheck? Not, what's my net worth? If you've got $750,000 in index funds and $250,000 in cash, you're playing the long game. That's how you make money work for you, not the other way around. Quiet wealth in action. Take a teacher who's been maxing out their Roth IRA, investing consistently for 25 years. No flashy lifestyle. But by age 55, they've got over $1 million in investments. They might not own a home, but they have something far more powerful, flexibility. Contrast that with someone who owns a $1.2 million home, but has no retirement savings. If something goes wrong, they have to borrow against their house or sell it. That's not wealth. That's stress disguised as success. The hidden cost of home equity. Now don't get me wrong. Owning a home can be a great financial move. It can build equity, offer stability, and act as a forced savings vehicle. But it can't be your only plan. You still need cash. You still need investments. Because when retirement comes, your home won't cut you a check every month. That's where a lot of people get burned. They hit retirement age with a $1 million net worth but $800,000 of it is tied up in their home. Meanwhile, their retirement account has barely enough to last 10 years. They're house rich, but cash poor. Retirement realities. Millions of Americans are retiring with homes worth a fortune, but they're still clipping coupons and skipping vacations. Why? Because their net worth isn't generating income. They can't sell a bedroom to buy groceries. So they either downsize, rent out a room, or refinance just to get by. Wealth, real wealth, is about income-producing assets. Not passive appreciation. You want freedom? Focus on what puts money in your account every month. Dividends, interest, business revenue, rental income. Make the shift. So here's what to do next. Track your liquid net worth, not just your total. Prioritize investing in assets that generate income. Avoid tying up all your wealth in one illiquid place like real estate. Study the habits of quiet millionaires. They live below their means, invest early and often, and think in decades, not paychecks. Start asking different questions. What's my passive income per month? How long can I live if I stop working today? Can I access my wealth without selling my life? That's the mindset of financial independence. Your house might help you look like a millionaire, but your portfolio is what makes you feel like one. Because freedom isn't found in square footage, it's found in choices. So if you're serious about building real, usable wealth, focus less on how much you're worth on paper and more on what your money is doing behind the scenes. If you found this video eye-opening, give it a like to help more people see it. Drop a comment below and let me know what percentage of your wealth is liquid right now. And if you're on a mission to build quiet wealth, financial freedom, and a mindset of abundance, subscribe for more videos just like this. See you in the next one.